In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up visible tabbing in Safari and Firefox on macOS so that you get this behavior instead of the nothing that usually shows up on Safari and in Firefox. All right, so I've got a Chromium based browser open right now, and you can see that as I tab through all these things, everything shows perfectly. If I move over instead into Safari over here, you can see if I hit tab, it looks at the URL bar. If I hit tab again, it goes to, I think that just the body of the page, I hit tab again. And once again, it goes to the URL input. So in other words, I'm not getting any kind of tabbing on these pages. Same thing on Firefox. If I come over here and hit tab, nothing happens at all. So that's a great user experience. Now, both of these browsers have set it up so that you can control this setting if you'd like to for your own experience. With Firefox, you need to change just one setting, and with Safari, you can add one additional one. First of all, the very first setting you have to do is in your system preferences. So you're going to come here and click on keyboard, and then you'll come to shortcuts and accessibility. Once you click here, you should see this option showing up below. Use keyboard navigation to move focus between controls. Press the tab key to move focus forward and shift tab to move focus backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, click that. And now if I come back over this way and I hit tab, you'll see in Safari, I'm starting to get some kind of tabbing ability, but it's mostly just controlling what I've focused in the actual browser window, not the actual web page itself. Now, if I ever come over here to Firefox, that actually will adjust for me. So now not only do I get access to all of that, but now just like in Chrome, I actually get access to all these things just with the tab key. Shift tab goes back the other way. Now, I mentioned there's another setting in Safari because the default setting in your system preferences only changes how you interact with the actual window itself. What we want to do is actually be able to access links and things like that. Now, there are a couple things you can do. Number one, if you hold down Option Tab, it'll actually let you tab to all those things. Now, I have to move past all this, and there we go. It Option Tabs to all those. But if you don't want to hold down Option Tab every time you want to interact with something, if you hit Command, Comma, or just go up and look at the system preferences up here, it will pull up this pane. Now go to the advanced tab and click press tab to highlight each option on a web page. This includes everything, not just input fields, which I think is Safari's default. Now I can just use the normal tab key and come through here. Now, one quick note about development. If you want to have a experience that mirrors the typical user to your site, you may not want to add this. That way you kind of get the normal experience of everybody as you're developing. But for me, it's easy enough to switch off when I want to test my sites and I can keep this default behavior for myself so that I don't go insane. Hey, well, I hope this little tip was a big help to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.